Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're starting to get into the winter months, so I thought let's spend the next few weeks talking about some ice fishing tackle. Mostly what's in my tackle box. This is the only box that I bring when I'm going ice fishing. And this week I thought we'd start out with just the small guys. Well, I guess the, that's what I catch, the small guys. We're going to be talking about perch uh, this particular time, so uh, stay tuned. All right. First on my list was going to be this guy here. That's the Buckshot Rattle Spoon uh, from Northland Fishing Tackle, which is a great lure, don't get me wrong. And I do plan on using it this year, but it's actually not the lure that I thought I was buying. What I thought I was buying was this guy here. Much smaller, same color. It's got this orange. God, I don't know if you guys can make that out or not but she's tiny compared to the one that I thought I was buying, right? This one's a lot bigger. This one here is the uh, Forage Minnow, and it is my number one go-to perch lure. I can throw it down just like this, and for whatever reason they want to bite it, or you can throw a minnow head on the, on the bottom of that, or a Jensen egg, or anything just to get some scent. Uh, this is my number one go-to for perch. All right, and for these guys, you know, it's not real hard to fish these guys. It's really just like any other spoon. You can just kind of let it drop down, let it hang there, leave it on the ground. Uh, personally, I like to kind of uh, jig it, uh, let it sit there for a few minutes. What I notice a lot of perch doing is kind of coming up to it and they'll stare at it for a little while and then they'll either nip at it or or kind of slide it into their mouth. So uh, I usually, excuse me, I usually use this when I'm looking right down the hole at them. Um, it doesn't work so much with a fish finder, but looking right down at the hole and I see them coming up to it and I see that thing disappear in their mouth. It's an immediate hook set. Uh, I use a little bit of a stiffer rod to do that. And then bam, you know, you catch them every time. But yeah, they, they're a little bit tentative with this. Actually, thinking back, this is the lure I was using when I caught all those big fish with Brian. I hit it. Look at this thing. That is a jumbo Simcoe perch. Double and Brian's hooked up. up. And all those big fish with John. Oh yeah, we're now getting the big guns in. Look at this thing. Whew. All right. Number two is just these little eggs uh jensen eggs these are uh putski i hope i'm saying that right putski eggs uh they're nothing fancy they're literally just look like trout eggs oh they stink so bad uh but it's the, whew, it's that scent <laughs> it's that since i've got in my mouth <laughs> it's that scent i think that really gets them but what you can do with this is simply even just putting it whoops Putting it on a hook, like a regular hook, just putting an egg on a hook. Um, you'll have to, of course, put something on there to get it down. So that could be a drop shot or it could just be some split shot way up. Uh, I'm usually not fishing deep for these things anyway. Uh, so little, little hook. Or my favorite is because this has a decent amount of weight on it, is actually just either taking that trouble off and sliding the egg on or just putting it onto one of the hooks. Um, they're a little bit tricky to get on because they're pretty slimy. So usually what I'll do is I'll kind of put it on the lid and then I'll hold it there with my finger while I put the hook through it. They're a little bit slimy. And like I say, they stink pretty bad, but they do a good job. Give them a try. And to fish these guys, really, really, you're not doing a lot. You are putting it down there and you're just letting it sit. These are just going to sit there. They're going to look at it, sniff it, and put it in their mouth. I do find that they do hold on to it a lot better, um, mostly probably because of the scent. Um, so if you're having a hard time getting them to keep it in their mouth, something like this should help you out. And I can still smell it. Ooh. All right, the next one is something obviously I don't have here in my basement, but that's live minnows. You know, uh, even something about this size. You know, this isn't that big. Um, a lot of guys are using just the heads or something small, small, um, but something like this, I've even seen bigger minnows, you know, there, sometimes it's true, the bigger the bait, the bigger the fish. So the bigger you go, the less chance you're going to get those smaller fish, um, and a lot bigger of a chance you're going to get those bigger fish, right? Because they got the bigger mouths, they're going to be able to put bigger things inside of them. Kind of like me and my foot. Anyway, so minnows 
obviously you can't go wrong with live bait live baits always going to outfish in my opinion anyway always going to outfish a lure um for minnows i always get asked how to rig the minnow and i think that there's a couple of different ways and i like to play around with them because sometimes i'll hook them one way other times i'll hook them the other way now the first way is actually just right on the back so pretending there's a dorsal fin here you can go right underneath that dorsal fin right underneath their spine and have it right on the back just like that the other option that you can do is either come in through the mouth and out through the head so you could have you know through the mouth uh, there we go through the mouth out through the top of the head or uh, another way is actually just right through the bottom of the jaw right through to the roof of their mouth uh, of course that way is going to kill them a lot faster because you're you're going through their brains but the hard hard bone that you're you're there kind of prevents it from being taken from the fish so you know if you're finding going through the back that they're they're taking it a lot um, or through the tail right a lot of guys will go through the tail so that they don't kill the fish you can still kind of swim a little bit um and and not kill them as fast but if you're finding that the fish are just plucking it off your uh, off your hook try going through the top of the head uh of course it kills them but that bone prevents it from being slid off too too easily i mean they're perched they i don't know how they're like raccoons in the garbage they always find a way all right so the next one is going to be super hard to see like uh, look how small that is that is a tungsten jig head uh, on a super small hook now of course you're going to catch a lot more smaller fish because this is going to be able to fit in their mouth but you know um like that time i went out with justin for his hot dog day there was just smaller fish in that area i couldn't couldn't catch big fish because there were none so you know putting something small like this and you know, just for numbers you know, pop them up just for a fun day out on the ice um but what i find with this one is you can either go down with just the single head and they'll 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 sometimes bite that or what you can do is you can put like a little tail hold on i got one okay it's not really the same idea because i was using this vmc one there last year if you saw that video with justin it was a small one like this this is vmc minnow but what happened was this little tail this little like blue waggy tail that you guys can see here that was key because when we first started just putting this down there didn't do anything even for the small fish they weren't interested but that little waggy tail i don't know what it is that waggy tail it's 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 the magic and you're not really even doing anything with this of course you can see that's not really put on my hook very well but you just put it down there um and literally you're just wagging it you're not doing anything you're just wagging that tail wagging the tail and that'll get them to bite and that'll work for big fish and it'll work for small fish too again i've caught big fish on those tiny jig heads like i did with john last year i think it was last year we got some bigger fish on cooch when it first froze up um and same deal little waggy tail seemed to catch them there so that's my next one actually i think that little uh small grub i mean that i think might be my next one because you can just use a small grub with with any type of jig head it doesn't have to be a small tiny tungsten jig head but i found these last year these are kind of cool they're hard to see right now but it's just like a little bug with a big tail on it i love these little tail ones you know tubes are good but for whatever reason i always have a really good time with those little those little tails that kind of wag because you don't have to do much they just kind of sit there um, but you can use can use little tubes too right like mismo makes some really nice tubes um, i use mismos for a lot of my tube stuff in the winter back of the meigs uh, they were great but this one here and this one is called sun perch if anybody likes the color but this is like a, a bright orange it's got some uh, black fleck in it um, again same deal you just put a tiny little jig head in there just like you would rig a regular tube a little bit bigger of a presentation maybe keep the super small fish away uh, but that should hopefully catch you some fish all right so that's that's it for me that's my five uh, my five favorite lures for perch um, I did ask you guys on Instagram what you liked uh, to use for perch so let me read off a couple of those because if you didn't like any of mine maybe some of these guys will help you out all right so first was 
Aiden Sham, and he had a bunch, so bear with me, but these are good ideas. So the first one was a jigging spoon. So I guess that could be any type of jigging spoon. So it could have been the Northland Tackle like I already showed you, or, you know, just any any jigging spoon. A slab grabber. Mm, that's a good one. I don't have any of those in my tackle box, and I'm not sure why, because that is definitely the number one go-to uh, perch bait around here is the slab grabber. If you've not seen a slab grabber, I'll try and find a picture to put in here, but it basically is kind of like it's almost like a spoon with a hook that's actually physically welded onto the spoon and it has this little bead. Um, and for whatever reason, that thing just catches fish. So that's a good one. Thanks, Aiden. That's a really good one. The other one was a jigging wrap um, or a jigging minnow, uh, which we kind of already talked about uh, with a tungsten jig head, he's saying. Or like he said at the end here, basically any low profile bait so basically any small bait uh he says those fish will bite on and it's true they're perch right they bite on almost anything rock river bass gives me a whole bunch of hands up so i'm not sure if he was asking permission or just saying yeah the ipad fisherman thanks buddy you follow me quite a bit but he says the small jigging spoons and trusty slab grabber again slab grabber comes up so that's twice from two different people Old Row Outdoors sent me a picture of a duck. Uh, hi, really a fishing heart. Uh, yeah, I love, I guess, you know. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you could try and catch him with love. Uh, I got somebody, I'm not even going to mention his name because I think something's coming, but he says, the next one I design, winky face. I feel like you guys are going to hear about this a little bit later. Okay, old row outdoors. Uh, he sent me a picture of a shark. I don't think he understood what I was asking for. Um, Danny Harmon gave me live shiner. We covered that, right? Good. Yes, live shiner. Uh, Jack Vidic gave me shad, obviously from the states, uh, but same idea as a live shiner, live bait, right? And this one I really wanted to share with you, True North Huntress. Uh, she, let me pull this up because she actually gave me some, some tips with this one. So she said that she uses that, I, I put it back, but that forage minnow. She loves that forage minnow. The other one that she said was, where is it here? So Northland Tackle Forage Minnow or Forage Fry in Hot Pink or Silver. Uh, best hard water bait for perch is what she said so I started chatting with her about it and uh, she said that they also have a glow spoon that she works and actually I do have one of those so the glow spoons are just these tiny little these spoons but they have this little slit in the middle and what you do is you have these glow shot sticks and you can get them in any of these three colors uh, red, green, and chartreuse, and you basically just pop them like those glow sticks. You know the big glow sticks that you get? You pop them and shake them up, and then you put them inside there, and she was saying that she really likes those. I think she said for burbot. Yeah, so she says uh, on that glow spoon, she uses it for burbot, um, and she said the burbot love the glow. Um, put a bunch of minnows on your hooks, so it could also be maybe the minnows. Excuse me. Um, and then she says, use a jigging method by pounding the bottom three times, then suspend one to two inches above the bottom for a few seconds and repeat. She says, it drives the bourbon nuts. So thank you, uh, True North Huntress, for that one. That's a lot of information, so I appreciate that. Uh, old Row Outdoors, what are you doing, buddy? Now you're sending me a picture of uh, a fishing rod with a fish on it? Like, is there a code there? And finally, West NCAC, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. He said, nice one, Aurelia Fishing. Thanks. And again, everybody who answered all my questions on Instagram for the base that you like for ice fishing, thank you very much. Uh, if you guys want, we're going to keep going with this. Actually, it doesn't matter if you want it because I kind of want to do some ice fishing stuff. I'm hyped. I'm so excited to go ice fishing. So I'm going to talk ice fishing. Uh, next, we'll go through some other baits that are in my ice fishing tackle box. Not sure what we're going to do yet. Probably whitefish. So, yeah.
Comment down below what you thought about this, what your favorite baits are for uh, perch fishing. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.